but it doesn't look like there's really a safe spot to land back here. Okay, hold on, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hello everyone, Thranks is here, and welcome back to Outer Wilds, episode 12, where we're going to make haste, and uh, I've been thinking a lot in between last episode and this one, and, um, well, I know what I want to do. For one, I'm done looking at the log, at least for the time being. All it does is tell me what I've already found out, which I can remember all the stuff I've already found out. And it tries to it tries to guide me in this very specific path, and I really I know what I want to do. I know what I want to do. Okay, so I know for a fact, and I've I've also I've I've seen some uh, um, friendly advice in the comments. No spoilers, but you know friendly advice and. And I have to say, I appreciate it. I appreciate all the uh, all the advice I've seen, but I do believe I do believe that when it comes down to it, I know what I want to do. Okay, and this is an elevator up, and of course, I don't want that. Okay, so let's talk about what I know. I know they're trying to harness the power of the sun. I've seen the station orbiting the sun. I know that I need to get there, and I've been to the high energy lab, and I've seen in the high energy lab, this elevator is also up. Okay, well that's not something I totally expected. wants to take me up same as the other one why is everything lined up over there hold on oh my gosh I want to get to the Sun station I know they're trying to harness the power of the Sun I know that people were against it because they thought it could destroy the entire system I know they're trying to do some sort of 22 minute negative interval which is the same interval that we're experiencing as far as this time loop is concerned. And I know that there is a teleporter. Look at this. Why are these all lined up? No, 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 no. Oh, they just changed. Now, did they change because I came over here or... I know that this right here at the high energy lab they said specifically they talked about how the teleporters took them to each location right and that they would be colored a specific way and that they would use these teleporters to accomplish their goal this is the teleporter for the sun it even said it corrected in the comments um, of, of the, the notes from the scroll and everything, it said, hold on, we're not looking at the sun yet. It said something to the effect of, yeah, I know, the sun's not a planet, har har, but that's, I bet this, this tower lines up, yup, with that. Directly. Okay, so what we need to do is get down in here. Now, I feel like, uh, I'm wasting time. For some reason, I thought I'd be able to access this one early. So, it seems a little of my deduction is off, because I thought this was the appropriate place to go early on, and now I feel like coming here early is a bit of a waste, because... can I see down there from here? That's the high energy lab.
Right, this sand is going to pick me up right off of here if I'm not careful. Hmm. Perhaps there are other things I could be doing during this. I know of all the places I haven't been, the last place I haven't been, well, I haven't really done Giant's Deep in earnest, but I also know that I haven't been to the Interloper. Um, I did understand that trying to land on it is a great deal precarious as I smacked my ship into it and damaged my... Yeah, see, this is... Hold on, this is something here. Some time has passed since I checked in with you, Pi. How are you and Idea progressing with the Sun Station plans? Yup, this is... Presently, my assessment is that our plan will either fail explosively or succeed explosively. Pi, you know I don't find that funny. Hypothesis. Time spent away from the station would be beneficial to you both. I am immensely interested in testing your hypothesis, Yaro. That, at least, we can agree on. How curious... Rami thinks I'm a gas, and I don't recall requesting that you monitor this conversation idea. I don't see what state of matter you are has to do with this, and I don't recall supporting the Sun Station's construction, but here we are. Right. There is... Okay, so there's something to this one here. Because, of course, this is where we want to be... And so it's not going to make it easy for us to figure this one out. Okay, hold on. Let's look at it again from up top, now that the sand is settled. That's where we want to get. Right there. That's it. Um... There's a door over here on this side. It's open. Yep, or that's... No, it's... Well, it's messed up. It's corrupted. It's not open. Um... Hmm. If I land my ship somewhere on this... I can't go in this side, so I have to sort of... Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yes, this is it. Now we can open it from this side. And is there anything to read here? Do I just... This is it. I think this is... Oh, our ship's probably getting all sorts of damaged and thrown around by the sand. Oh. I hope we figured it out in time. I notice the station isn't always there. But at some point... Here it goes. <gasps> okay. Alright, let's not... Let's not dally. Okay, I know I've learned that this this purple floor here changes our gravitational orientation. I know we've got to be right on the sun. Eight minutes, seventeen seconds ago, increased solar activity detected. Sun station hull integrity approaching critical levels. Closing emergency doors. Two hundred and eighty-one thousand and forty-two years ago, no user commands received for ten minutes. All systems entering sleep. Opens emergency door. Oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Rotate down, rotate down, rotate up, rotate up. Did it. Put this away. Mission, science compels us to explode the sun. Can't we change this? I don't enjoy working in view of such a morbid mission statement. 
Here's a better one. Mission, determine if it's possible to prompt the sun to explode. You lack a sense of humor. At least I don't lack a sense of ethics. Kindly refrain from going supernova on me before the sun does, Idea. But it's accurate. We're going to create a supernova for the purpose of scientific progress. That's our mission. Our mission is to decide if such an irresponsible feat is even possible. I'd say things have been learned and discovered, uh, but why? If their whole goal was to get the power, I don't... Look, there's a tablet here. Okay, hold on. Approximate time until sun station is destroyed by expanding star, 2 minutes 12 seconds. Approximate time until star's death, 13 minutes 42 seconds. Star has reached end of natural life cycle, now approaching red giant stage, warning evacuate the sun station. So there's... There's some form of... There's two... Okay, hold on. This one takes me to... Uh, it's these these blasted masks. Okay, hold on. What happened? Did the sun station not fire? It fired Yarrow, but it failed. The sun barely responded. There were infinitesimally small surface level changes, but they were barely visible even to the third eye. The sun station is useless. It will never and could never cause the sun to explode. I don't know what comes next, my friends. I suppose we must start over, but I'm unsure how to start over. Return to Ash Twin first, my friend. Perhaps a change of task would help. Spire noticed a comet approaching the star system that we'd like to investigate. Hi, I hurt for you, my friends. We all know how hard you've both worked. I can only offer my compassion. How are you? How is Idea? We're well, Yaro, or as well as can be expected given the circumstances though disappointed i may have disagreed with exploding the sun but i never wished the device would fail i'd hoped our, i'd hoped our terrible work was finished we need to get out of here yeah okay okay so at least I'm understanding a little bit more, maybe. But not really. I thought this place would answer all my questions. But I think I can safely say I just have more questions now. So they were trying to blow up the sun just to see if they could but it was supposed to be extracting power from the sun to cause this negative 22 minute time interval. I don't think we have any time to, to stay here. I have to depart. I'm just trying to see if there's anything of value up here and it doesn't appear like there is. So instead we're going to have to reach back across this area here. Okay, all right. Eleven minutes twenty six seconds ago. Okay. Let's go back. That did not answer my questions. Wait, wait a minute. This is. Sun Tower offline as of 0 minutes 13 seconds ago. All other towers online. Did I really warp back, like, at the last minute? <laughs> what? 13 seconds ago? Did I really... That. That's what it is. Okay, we're going to the ship. Let's go. We're getting pulled up through the sand here. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. 
We've got this. Hunker down. Going to the interloper then. That is obviously where they said they wanted to study. And I know that one of the Nomai shuttles went there in the Quantum Moon, so as far as I'm concerned, both of those areas are of pretty s intense significance. Aft hull damaged in the ship. Okay, this, this is going to be something similar as last time where I hit it, isn't it? Right, because it's moving at an alarming rate. And we have to try to match this trajectory. Yeah, coming at it from the other side is not going to be feasible because it's just going to careen into us. We have to chase it. But it doesn't look like there's really a safe spot to land back here. Okay, hold on, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, okay, okay, hold up, hold up. There's something here. Alright, alright, stop. I think we're visible, and it's a good thing we still have our our hatch on here because the aft hull is damaged. Was that the only... Um, I guess it doesn't matter. This is something here. Clary, this is troublesome. It seems the comet wishes to submerge our shuttle in ice. If we stay on the surface too long, the shuttle may freeze entirely. Even if it did, couldn't someone call it back home to the gravity cannon on Ember Twin? Yes. Yes, but the exploration of the comet would be more difficult if we were without the shuttle until someone recalled it. Perhaps we shouldn't have landed on the dark side of the comet. Suppose one of us remain in the shuttle to keep it warm and continue monitoring the surface. This would be wise, I think, Larry. If you don't mind waiting here with it, Poke and I can continue to investigate the surface. So does that mean my ship is going to encase in ice if I stay here? It's like slush or something. Well, if my ship is going to stay here and get encased in ice, I don't want that either. Ugh. I don't know if I'm going to be able to safely land on the other side, though. Alright, let's... Okay, let's just... Slowly. Slowly. We can match velocity. Yep. And we can just come around to the front side. I mean, realistically, I want to do a kind of surface analyzation of it to see if there's... I mean, we've pretty much matched velocity at this point, so I think it's safe to say we can we can just about... Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. It looks like that's our entrance, right? Wait a second. Yeah, there's like no, no frequencies here at all. Okay, so... I guess I'm not getting it. Now, does leaving my son on the day side keep it from freezing, or was the freezing even a thing that was going to happen? Is 
So the comet is sort of... It's making this long trip around the sun. Wait a second. That's... what? Oh, that's the white hole station. Right, so every time the comet makes a close approach to the sun... It loses more and more ice, right? That's that's how it would work. All right, hold on. Let's just Oh, wait a second. That's the shuttle. Oh, I should have recalled the shuttle to the surface of of ember twin right okay all right i think that's i think that's just what i have to do no 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 no, what happened? Me and my ship, we got, we got flung off of the interloper? Why? Oh, close approach to Giant's Deep? Was it the star? Okay, okay. We just have to... Oh my goodness. We're going into the sun. Oh no! And so is our spaceship. <laughs> Glug. Okay, well... Hmm. Okay. I... Gosh darn it. I thought I had a good idea. <laughs> I thought I had a good idea. Uh, okay. All right. Let's let's make haste. I think I think what we need to do. All right. So we're gonna go to Ember Twin immediately to the gravity cannon and recall the ship from the interloper, and then. See, I want to go to the Tower of Quantum Knowledge, too, while Brittle Hollow is still... Ooh! Ooh, that startled me. Abort the autopilot, please! <laughs> Ooh, that was, um... Interesting, to say the least. So it's possible I could have gotten to... I could have gotten to the Sun Station a little sooner, but for what good it would have done me, I'm not sure. Um, I do want to check to see if this... Hold on! If this alignment over here is actually aligned, or if it just looks that way at a glance, yeah, and then it's not. All right, enough of that. Let's go then and we'll find the gravity cannon. I'm pretty sure about what I want to do, um, but I'm also fairly certain... 
What is that? Oh, that's part of the gravity cannon. I'm fairly certain there's an order to this. There's a cadence, right? Since everything is revolving around time... Then everything in effect needs to happen in a certain order. I'm sure of it. It says the fissure is on the sunward side. Hmm. I don't think much is gained from... Okay, alright. Fissure is on the sunward side, but then... Uh, but again, again, they're describing things that are that are changing and taking place in my time. Oh, I descended down here and I left my ship up there thinking it would be an easy out. Oh, 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 maybe, maybe. Alright, that'll work. But it's like, how would the interloper have acquired more ice from when they went to it than when I went to it? I want to go back to the interloper. Um, yeah, yeah, I want to go back to the interloper. Um, and the main reason is I want to see if... I want to see if it actually seems like it has more ice on it now than when it did when I went there. Yep. If the, I want to see if the fissure on the surface is more or less prominent than when I went there. Because if it's, if it's more prominent than... No, if it's less prominent, which I would suspect, then... Come on, come on, come on. Whoops, 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 whoops. Right, I would expect the fissure to be less prominent because... That would mean that it's actually melting the more time goes on. Hold on, hold on. Well, the ship is indeed gone. My thing is, if I'm going to get flung off of this thing when it makes a close approach to Giant's Deep, then perhaps I want to stay on this side until that happens? Gosh, I just don't know. Okay, so that's Giant's Deep there. We're, we're pretty far from that. Let's, let's go around to the front and just see. Okay. So we're just out here. This is the this is the far point of the comet's orbit. And it does appear like there's really not a fissure to speak of. The ice is pretty prominent. 
on the surface. Oh, no, no, no. There's a little fissure here. Hold on. There's, like, no gravity on this thing. Hold on. So there is a fissure here, but it doesn't really appear to go anywhere. It looks about the same as last time. I think the honest truth is, in order to completely rule this out, what we need to do, first of all, is we need to go back to our ship and see if we can wait out this close approach to Giant's Deep without getting flung from it if we're on the, the dark side of the comet, which is what I would expect. But I don't know. But we're going to wait it out from inside the ship so that we have thruster control. That can't be. Is literally every... Wait, does everything line up? Except one. Except Ryback. Is there a point at which every... Every planet lines up? Oh, that's... that's gotta... Uh, I mean, right now, this... Let's go take a peek. Okay, okay. I just want to get some visibility. Okay, so if, if each time the interloper makes a pass by the star, the surface is in fact melting a little bit more each time, then we need to come to the interloper late in the show, right? Or, or you, you, you know what I mean, later in the scheme of things? Why are we getting shadows? Oh, we're having uh, transient eclipses. Um, not eclipses, uh, star, what, you know, hold on. Is this fissure any different than before? It looks the same. <sighs> I don't understand. I think... Either there's something on the surface I'm missing, which is possible, or we just need to show up here a little later, a little later on. Seems like this made a pretty close approach to the sun when we were looking at it earlier. I'm curious how many close approaches it gets. Because each time, it seems like the ice would melt more and more. Okay, it's going on a... It's coming up on a very, very close approach to the star. I'd like to think we could just stay here and watch it, but I'm pretty sure if Giant's Deep threw us off the surface of this thing, pretty sure the star will more than throw us off the surface. Here, let's let's go to the back. Mm. Psst. 
Maybe we will take this time to look at the ship log since we have time to kill. Okay. We've learned a lot. We've learned a lot. We went to the sun station. Um, we learned it was designed to make the sun go supernova. And they fired the sun station and had no effect. And they said it could never make the sun go supernova. And after it was failed, they took a break to investigate the comet. And the sun had reached the end of its natural life cycle. Mm, yep, we know all about the towers from Ash Twin. The Black Hole Forge. A warp cores of the Black Hole Forge before delivering them to the Ash Twin. Yeah, the anglerfish fossil. I have a theory about that. Um, found in the Mai shuttle almost encased in ice. The Mai landed on the Andrew not long after its arrival in the solar system. The shuttle's equipment heard strange energy readings coming from somewhere beneath the surface. Um, I've gotten no such energy readings. There were three Nomai aboard the shuttle. One of them stayed behind to keep the shuttle warm. Clary, the Nomai who stayed behind, lost contact with the other two after they descended below the interloper's surface. Fissure on the ice. Yeah, that's what it says, but... An Amai named Solomon landed her, uh, her shuttle on the quantum moon's south pole and prepared to make the rest of the journey on foot. Always arrive at the south pole. Yeah, there's more to explore there. There's more to explore at the lake bed cave. Strange rock shard that wanders when no one is watching. The Namai determined this shard is the reason objects in this grove behave in a quantum manner. They hypothesize that this shard is actually a piece of the quantum moon. The Tower of Quantum Knowledge on Brittle Hollow's equator held useful knowledge for Namai embarking on their first pilgrimage to the quantum moon. I, I, I want to go there. I'm very curious about the quantum moon, but the Namai detected a quantum signal coming from somewhere on Giant's Deep. Ugh. Sunless City. More to explore here. Yeah, again, I have theories about that, too. Built into the walls of a huge underground cavern, it's divided vertically into four districts. They debated building a sun station in order to power the Ash Twin project. Several Nomai opposed its construction. Because what they wanted to do... Okay, so my theory... Successfully reproduced the temporal anomaly first observed at the White Hole Station. Then Namai discovered they could increase the negative time interval between arrival and departure by adding energy to the warp cores. They wanted to know if a 22 minute negative time interval was possible. Hold on. They concluded it would require new technology to produce the necessary energy, as well as an advanced warp core to handle those energies. Ash Twin was, was proposed as a location for the project. My theory... No, I don't want to speculate. So what I don't know... Let's let's go investigate and see if the sun has opened up anything on... Ooh. Okay, we're obviously making our close approach by the... By the star. Whew, right as we tried to get out, too. Oh my... Oof, that, uh, that startled me a little bit, but that definitely makes me feel like, A, we don't want to be on the sunward side, and B, the fissure will be opened up a little bit more with each close approach to the sun. Now, what I'm not sure of... Let's make sure we're not coming up on Giant's Deep. I don't want to get yeeted. Ye yeeted? Ye yeet? No. Okay, everything's over there. What I'm unsure about is if the sun going supernova was for them to harness power for the Ash Twin Project, which I don't know what the Ash Twin Project is, or... If the Ash Twin project was to supernova the sun for the negative time interval, like I, I guess I don't I don't know which is which is primary and which is secondary. Like what came first, the chicken or the egg? Was the supernova the the energy source and the experiment something unrelated to that? 
or was the experiment the supernova and they needed the energy source for it? I'm going to I'm, I'm going to be straight honest. This fissure does not seem to be uh well, maybe it is a little a little larger, but I don't think it's oof. I don't think it's tremendously larger. Okay, I feel pretty certain that the interloper is not going to reveal its secrets to me until it has made quite a many passes around the sun. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure this thing needs to evaporate a lot. In fact, I would be curious to pay attention to its state as the final music is playing because I get a feeling that more and more and more of this is going to be revealed as time goes on. Yeah, that's the fissure I need to get into. That's the only fissure on the opening. Nothing else makes sense. And I just need the ice to melt more. Okay, so that being said... All right. Ah, <sighs> what I'm thinking What I'm thinking is that a I should probably swing into Giant's Deep at some point for no other reason than to meet my Outer Wilds companion. Oh no, 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 no. <gasps> That's not planned. That was not. That's. Okay, hold on, hold on. We're. Okay, vital hull breach. Uh, everything just came apart. Um, I don't think we can fix it. I think. I think that's all that's left. That's all that's left. Wait. Come back! Come back! Oh my gosh! <laughs> the dangers of autopilot! Master alert! Let's buckle up! Let's just ride this thing! <laughs> Are you serious? Well, don't be too concerned. I wasn't really trying to go to Giant Steep. I was more trying to go to the orbital station, but... At this point, I don't think it matters what I was going to do. Oh, man. Oh, man. Wow. Critical hull alert. Um... You know what this means, of course. You know what this means. <laughs> There's not... Is there a way to take off our, our helmet? Our mask? No. I don't think so. I think the only thing we can do... You, you guessed it. The only thing we can do is to just accept our fate. <laughs> Smash the whole ship apart. Uh. I don't even think we're going to look. It's too depressing. That's going to be where we wrap up this episode oh my gosh i can't e uh, i can't even smacked right in the brittle hollow like full speed tore the whole ship apart it was bound to happen at some point but i feel pretty safe to say we don't need to go to the interloper until very late in the cycle 
That's going to do it for this episode. Until next time. Take care. <laughs>